Hey everyone, it's Brian. In this video, we're going to solve this problem, the integral of sine squared x dx. Now when you're doing this, don't make the mistake of trying to do the reverse power rule. Don't just add one to the power and call this sine cubed over three. That doesn't work here. That's only working for polynomial functions. Instead, for this integral, we're going to take advantage of a trig identity. And there's a nice trig identity for sine squared that we'll use this is one half the quantity of one minus cosine of two x. So we'll take advantage of this because when we use this identity, we're taking that squared and breaking it down to a first power. It's a cosine, but those are things we know how to integrate. So let's rewrite our integrand and I'll just take this one half on the out front. I can pull constants out. So it's one minus cosine of two x inside my integral, still need dx, and these are things we're able to anti-derive. So we have the one-half, the antiderivative of one dx, that's simply x, minus the antiderivative of cosine is sine. So this will be a sine of 2x, and I could have done a mini u substitution here, letting u be 2x and du would be 2dx and we'd have a factor of a half come out front. I prefer to remember that when we're deriving using the chain rule here, we would have had to multiply by 2. We're anti-deriving, so we have to divide by this 2. It's just a nice little shortcut in these situations when you have a constant times x, and that's only when it works there. This is all still plus c, and I think we solved this integral. Now I encourage you to click the video on the screen to watch the next video. I'll see you in that one.